today's morning coffee vinyl side, Olivia Newton-John, Making a Good Thing Better, 1977. This 1977 album was recorded around the time Olivia Newton-John signed on to play Sandy in Greece. At the time of its recording, John was in what would become a protracted dispute with her record company, MCA. Both parties found themselves dissatisfied under the terms of their original contract, and John had delivered this album late, which had consequences with respect to contract extensions and future obligations. Where that was significant was that both were aware that her profile and career were about to get a big boost. MCA wanted a piece of that action, and John wanted the support of a label that believed in her and the rewards that were sure to follow. For this reason, this album received little support from the label, and that was reflected in its sales numbers. But let's be real. This is a bizarre album. The track list alone should confirm that. It's got a reworked version of the disco ballad Slow Dancing, a version of Ring of Fire made famous by Johnny Cash, and Don't Cry For Me, Argentina from the Broadway musical Evita. It's confused in this way, a confusion that's been part of her career since she represented the UK in the Eurovision Song Contest in 1974, placing fourth behind ABBA and Waterloo. Olivia Newton-John was famously a bit country, a bit pop, a bit adult contemporary, and a bit rock and roll in a brief era of time when you could get away with that. But this album showed the consequences of that schizoid identity. Had Greece not come along and altered that propensity, she would have, in all likelihood, disappeared by the end of the decade. I do note the considerable studio talent on this album, including Jeff Porcaro on drums and Lee Sklar on bass. And of course, Newton-John will always be linked to the considerable talents of her manager, producer, songwriting partner, and guitar player, John Farrar. And now I got to wrap this up because I got an emergency call out at work and I have to book it.